Hey guys, Clifford here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the back end wall, okay? This is a shot you definitely need when you start getting better at pickleball, okay? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do it, the technique, and when to do it. I'm gonna explain how I learned it from table tennis and how I translate it from table tennis to pickleball, okay? Without further ado, let's go into it. Before I show you how I do it like in pickleball, please don't forget to subscribe. I will show you how I translate my backhand from table tennis to pickleball, all right? Let's go over there. This is the way I hold my racket, all right? Because in table tennis, we use a lot of wrists, okay? So, I remember the video I did when I say, all you have to do, just move like that, okay? You move your feet, like let's say 40, 45 degrees so you can have that perfect angle so you it can be very easy for you to hit the forehand people was asking me okay so how are you gonna hit it with your back end it's the same thing actually that make my back end more easy all right this is the thing the same thing when i'm doing my back end and table tennis this is the way i stand all right this is the way i do my back end in table tennis and I do the same thing to impeccable and it's make it very easy. All right, so a closer look, the way I wall my back end, you see that? It's all wrist. You see, it's all wrist. The racket of table tennis and the paddle of pickleball are very different. This is why in table tennis, I can bend my wrist completely, like looking down and i can still when i do that i put even more spin on the ball as i say because the rubber allow me okay to grab the ball and spin it okay but in pickleball if i try to do that it's not gonna happen because it's just plastic so all you have to do the trick is okay you have to create like let's say an angle so the ball can sit on it okay something like that okay so uh, if you watch closely when i'm doing my back and wall and pickleball okay i create like an angle so when the ball comes it's gonna sit on it when i feel the ball now i use my wrist i turn it over your initial position okay paddle in front of you and when you, that ball is coming at you you just turn your paddle okay so you can see initial position okay when the ball is coming at you you open it and you create that angle okay but sometimes i don't put my paddle up like that i'm just down like this as you can see okay i'm down like this that make me even faster when i got my paddle hidden there okay when the ball come i open create the angle and i roll it okay i roll it like this and this is the shot so is the ball is too low if I'm catching the ball here in the ground, if I put spin on it, so that ball is going up, okay? If that player is ready, what he's gonna do is just gonna smash it. So you have to be careful when you're doing the back and wall, okay? So, let's say I'm gonna try to get too high, try to make it short, okay? I'm wall it. You see, it's very low. As you can see, I'm using my legs. I'm going down, going down. Okay, going down, going down, yeah, it's me. okay, I'm going down, okay, see, I cannot take it out of there, this one I can take it, I can take it, so the thing about the spin, you don't have to hit the ball hard, the spin will, will do the job for you, okay, so it's a very easy, you get the ball, you create that angle for the ball, right? And after that, you you roll it. 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 Okay? But you have to use your legs and until they pop it up for you. Okay? So, this is an advanced shot. Alright? But everybody can do it. So now you know the technique. You know you have to use your legs, you have to create that short angle for the ball and just roll it, right? Sometimes you don't even have to use your wrist, right? You can lock your wrist, get the angle 
and just push forward. Hey guys, that's it for today. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.